Hi there. Welcome to this build of a 20 inch wingspan rubber powered model. This is the Noctule. Now the Noctule is a really quirky design and very typical of the person who designed it, a British guy called Peter Fisher or his full name was Ocean uh, Francis William Fisher but he was known as, as Peter Fisher. Now this appeared in a copy of Aeromodeler in March 1988 but if you have a look in the description below there'll be a link to the plans and, uh, and hopefully the build article. So we've got the main structure of the wing finished and the way that Peter designed these, Peter Fisher designed these was you would build the wing and we can see we've got the struts for the wheels and then you would cover it you would then build the fuselage and glue that on top. It's all based around making this as light as possible. If you were to put the fuselage on and then cover it, you'd need balsa down the side to uh, attach the tissue to, and it would just make it a lot more complicated. So anyway, we're gonna get this covered today. Now, in the, uh, the build article in Aeromodeler, actually there you can see the plans which uh, were in Aero Modeler, they, they, it, full size plans were supplied with the article in the magazine. But it says just to cover this top surface and to leave the undersurface uh, just uncovered. Now, I, have a, I don't have a problem with that, I'm fine with that and I think that would be good, but I just don't like the idea of the raw white balsa underneath. So, what I'm gonna do is I've got some uh, hobby spray paint and it's good for wood and I think this is polished aluminium but uh, I, I don't think it's going to have a, a gloss finish when I use it on this wing so I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this wing uh, give it a really light dusting just to darken that wood down I don't want to apply any paint with a brush because that will add a lot more weight I think this will be a lot lighter and I've got a little bit of a test wing here which I, I built a while back for testing coverings and finishings and I've just given that a, a bit of a dusting underneath just to see what it looked like. Now I may live to regret this but I think it'll look quite nice and once that's dry I'm going to be covering it in some Japanese Asuka tissue and I'm going to be using two colours, this lovely yellow and this red. Now the yellow is going to go in the centre of the wing, so the, the central, portion, oops, central portion is going to be yellow, the outer tips are going to be red. Now, if we look at both the yellow and the red on this spray paint, I know it look different when it's got dope or banana oil or something on it, but I think it won't, it will show through just a little bit darker and I think that might look nicer than the actual white balsa that would show through. And if we do the yellow on the top and then we'll just see the, uh, the, the, the spray paint underneath. So anyway, I think that will look nice. And as modelers building from plans, it's great if we can experiment, try things. Some things work out, some things we think, well, it's okay, but I won't do it again. So let's see how this one goes. What I'm gonna do now is I've got some very fine uh, sanding paper here. I'm just going to go around and just check this is ready for covering and then we'll give it a light dusting and we'll come back and we'll have a look at how we're going to put the tissue on. Right well this is certainly a, a voyage of discovery. I've made a few changes. Uh, you can see I've sprayed this and it's quite patchy and, and that and I quite like it like that. I don't want it you know to be just bold the whole the, the whole structure. But you'll see I've added a spar here and the reason being is that I couldn't see how I can get the tissue up and down or even joined in the middle without it sagging rather majorly here. Which isn't what we want because when we stick the fuselage on like that, it, we want some nice tight tissue here. We don't want a big sag underneath. So I, I don't see how I could cover that without adding that uh, that bit of bit of balsa. So I've just glued that. I'm just waiting for the CA to be uh, to be right, which I think it is, and I'm going to go and spray that again. Now I've changed the colour scheme as well. Um, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this central section in blue and that will go on as one piece hopefully and then I am going to do the wing tips in red. Now the reason I've gone away from using the yellow is because I've been experimenting a little bit. I'm going to uh, put it on with a, one of these blue glue sticks where you can see it's blue when you first put it on then it dries clear. And you can see the, the yellow can be a little bit patchy and show through. It doesn't, I just don't like the way that's looking. And it might be okay once it's doped or um, we've got some banana oil on it or something, but it might show up a little bit patchy. The blue, however, goes on quite nicely. It doesn't show um, patchy through like it does with the yellow. So we're gonna ditch the yellow. Good job I experimented, I'm really pleased. I wouldn't be happy if I'd started covering the wing and, uh, and fan that out. So what I'm gonna do now is I'll spray this and then we'll start to get that central piece of tissue on. Okay, so I'm ready to start covering this now. I've got that center bit uh, sprayed up and I'm gonna put, as I said, the blue on the center. Now, tissue has a grain. I'm gonna run the grain across the wing like that. So this needs to be stuck down against that spar there and I'm going to bring it over and then stick it down to that spar and hopefully we are good to go with one piece. I can't see why we wouldn't be able to do it in one piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this uh, glue stick and I'm going to put that on the spars. I will probably do just up to this point, get that side done, and then I'll peel it back and I will do that bit. I've got some 70% um, isopropanol. Now, if it sticks and it's got a little bit of a wrinkle, I'm going to be able to just wet the isopropanol, uh, use the isopropanol to wet the glue through the tissue and that will remobilize it and I can just stretch it and hopefully get it nice and taut. Famous last words, we'll see how it goes. Now, I'm just going to get this on all the spars. Doesn't show up that well, the blue, because I've sprayed it. But uh, there you go. Okay. Now, I'll just do down there a little bit. Now, let's see if we can get this on. Check we've got the grain going right. Now, I'm going to have a little bit of an overlap that will allow me to get a grip of it. Now I'm just gonna stick it in this uh, valley first. So I'm gonna put this on a towel because it's sliding around a little bit and I think it'll just help support it possibly. see how that is sticking on quite nicely I'm quite pleased with that um, and it's going on quite tight I'm not going to try and get it any tighter than that I don't think because I don't want to rip it or introduce any other uh, uh, creases elsewhere so what I'm going to do now is I'll pull peel this back I'll do that side I'll trim it and then I think what I'm gonna do is just lap it around the front there so that we can see blue on that front edge and then trim it flush with that. So I'll get on and do this and uh, we'll have a look when it's done. Okay, you can see this is looking nice now so I thought we'd have a, 
a quick update and we're not just having an update because it's looking nice we'd have probably had an update if it wasn't looking so good as well but I'm just trimming these sides now with a nice sharp scalpel and then what we can do is wrap the front round but uh, I'm really pleased with how this is looking I, I was a little bit nervous about doing this because you never know on a on a structure like that whether it's going to be perhaps just a little bit more complicated than uh, than you anticipated so I've just put a sharp scalpel blade a new scalpel blade in this but it's ama amazing how quickly they become dulled with uh, with use and uh, especially when you're trying to cut something as uh, as fine and delicate as this uh, as this tissue so hopefully that will come off now and now we can snip that there we go so now we've got these two sides done and trimmed what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave it for a little while just to make sure this is stuck nicely and um, and then I think I'll put a slit up there I'll fold that down and I'll do the same at the back here fold that down and just trim it along that edge and then we will come and have a look right you can see I've got that nicely glued on and trimmed up and I'm really pleased with how it's looking just can't imagine how it would have been without that strut but anyway so we've got the centre done what we need to do now is get two pieces of red on the outside edge so I've got a nice straight line exactly the same technique I'll glue that first and then do these uh, these edges and then we will be done I did wonder actually whether I should have made the fuselage first before I started doing this so I could actually fit it on there and um, make sure it was a nice fit without the tissue in the way that m may get damaged but anyway this is where we are now so uh, I will get on and get the rest of this done right well there we go got that covered now and it's uh, it's got the odd sort of little bit of a bow in it but it's nice and flat and I'm really pleased with how it's gone on and uh, I think that looks really good so uh, what I'm going to do now is I've got my test piece this is the wing I uh, sprayed earlier and I put a piece of tissue on it sprayed it with water and that's shrunk quite nicely so I'm going to spray this with water now give it a light misting let it dry and then I think I'm going to be just treating it with banana oil I don't want to put anything too powerful shrinking on it this this won't shrink it um, I don't want to put a shrinking dope on it because I'm worried it's gonna twist or, or move but I will try the banana oil on here first just to make sure that uh, that it's okay before I stick it on that but I will I will water shrink it first and uh, and get that ready so once uh, that's dried and shrunk and we've got the banana oil on there we'll come back and we'll make a decision on what we, we're going to do for a final finish right well it's at times like this you wish you had a little bit more ventilation in the workshop um, I've been uh, shrinking this and it's still shrinking it's still drying out a little bit but it's starting to look really nice it's starting to tighten up a bit that's been shrunk with just a fine mist of water now my test piece I put on the banana oil and it kind of went a little bit it went tighter but it was it ended up with a little bit of a wave in it I wasn't very happy with the result I got so what I've just done is I put 50% uh, shrinking dope and thinners on this and that's gone really nice so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this now until tomorrow because I want this to dry properly where you can see there's still damp patches and I want to leave, <laughs> leave this overnight and just make sure that it's okay in the morning and it hasn't ended up like a banana but I think 
I will be first thing tomorrow putting the shrinking dope on here. So it's a bit difficult because I, I guess I could do a wing at a time and uh, and pin it down on the bench, but um, it's not the easiest structure to hold flat. So we'll see anyway. Right, well, I've been cracking on and getting this doped, and um, it's going okay. It could be it could be better. There's things about it I don't like. I mean, um, if you see my channel, you'll know I'm not a great lover of doped finishes anyway. But um, I've I've done this panel, this panel, and this panel. Just got this bit left to do, and you can see I've pinned it down here to uh, hopefully make sure it stays flat, or more or less flat anyway. I, uh, one thing I will say is that this wing here, it hasn't, it hasn't twisted, but it has just curved up very slightly at the tip by, it's probably a millimetre, if that, it's probably half a millimetre, it's very slight. So it's just added to the dihedral, which I don't think will be a problem. And to be honest, it'll probably happen with this wing. And I'm not surprised because it's, I mean, this is only one eighth really light balsa, and this is light balsa as well. So I'd be surprised if a, with a dope finish like this, it hadn't moved very, very slightly. And we are talking about small amounts. But anyway, I'll get this doped and then we'll have a look when it's finished. Well, this is all finished now, and I am really pleased with how it's looking. You can see that's all shrunk nicely, and if we look at the underside, you can see the painted balsa, and it just sort of dulls it down a little bit. I'm quite pleased I did that. And as I said, a very slight kick on the wings, and I think because we've got tissue on the top but not on the underside, that was kind of inevitable really. But I can't wait now to move on and start building the fuselage. But I'm going to pull this video to a close and in the next video we're going to start and pull that fuselage together and it's going to be really exciting to see how it looks sat on top of this wing. So anyway, thanks very much for watching and please come back, see how we get on in the continued build of this 20 inch wingspan Noctule, a rubber powered bit of fun. Thanks very much.